Lots of crazy performances by our local athletes from week nine of the high school football season. These are the best of the best, your Friday night phenoms. Well, Centerberg fans, get to work, because here's the first nominee. He needs no introduction as a staple on our countdown for the last two seasons. It's Trojan quarterback Tyler Johnson, who put up over 300 yards of total offense and rushed for, yeah, six touchdowns as the Trojans clinched at least a share of the K-Mac title and at least one home game as well in the postseason. What a night for the senior standout. It might as well end the video now. We all know who I think is going to come home with this week's female right? boning. But six total rushing touchdowns and over 300 yards. Wow. I mean, those stats don't matter. Tyler Johnson definitely deserves it this one. We might as well just give it to him now. We can't give him the crown just yet, but I'm sure the fans will get him there eventually because he went off. Checking in now at nominee number two is Clear Fork's Colt Victor Skoog, who had another marvelous night in the Valley. The senior completed six of 11 passes for a buck 19, rushed for 193 more yards, and piled on four scores, all while capping off his performance with a defensive touchdown via an interception. The Colts will now head to Highland Week 10 to compete for the MOAC Championship. Colt Nation always shows up and out at the game, so come on, you gotta have to show out if you want to beat a center for Trojan. Get this guy some votes for his performance. Skoog with a huge night, all those touchdowns in a large win against the Whippets. Nominee number three has been solid all season long. It's Hayden Kuhn, the game manager from the Crestview Cougars. The senior QB knew what was at stake on Saturday night against St. Paul, so he put on one of the most spectacular performances yet. Dropping dimes left and right as the Cougars claimed the Violence Conference title yet again. Yeah, Kuhn was dropping dimes all over the place and making rival St. Paul look silly all night. Whether it was his poise or his precision accuracy, Crestview's QB had a field day. Never easy to go on the road at Contractor Stadium and win as a visitor, but that's exactly what Hayden Kuhn was able to do, leading his Cougars to a huge victory in a championship on the road. Senior night at Arlen Field provided senior running back Ricky Mills with the juice he needed to run through Mount Vernon like they were sweat bees instead of yellow jackets. Ricky toted the rock 12 times, racked up 74 yards, two touchdowns, and was pulverizing any yellow jacket who dared to get close to him. It's a good thing it's almost Halloween because Ricky, he turned a ton of potential Mount Vernon third down stops into ghosts. Because it's all treats with this T.Y. Tiger who needed no tricks to make our list of nominees. Ricky Mills with a special performance on a big night for the senior. Coming in at number five is Bucyrus Jr. Blaine Bardo, who had a huge night on the road with 25 carries, 141 yards, and two touchdowns. On one touchdown, Bardo ran for 75 yards, finding the end zone with a full pack of bucks hot on his tail, showcasing that ever so deadly speed yeah i mean this guy was just doing it all night long and he i mean play after play after play he was just turning on the jets leaving defensive players in his wake as you see right here on the screen just go and goes this dude had a special night blame bardo carrying his team to a big win our final nominee ruled senior night at Fredericktown, where running back tegan rule needed just 14 carries to eclipse the 200 yard mark piecing out for a four pack of scores and a win over cardington lincoln with Tegan being both the opener and the closer for the Freddies. Rule seems to be on the Phenom list week in and week out as he carried the Freddies on his back to escape a visiting Pirate win down there in Fredericktown on senior night. That's right, four big scores for Tegan as he keeps the Freddies well in the thick of things for the playoff hunt down there in Fredericktown. Those are your Friday Night Phenom nominees from week number nine. Now it's up to you, the fans, to decide who had the most impressive performance of the week.